10 Jurassic Park roars. The Jurassic Park franchise has had diminishing returns ever since its inception back in 1993. The original is a masterpiece, no doubt. The sequel was good but a bit lazier. The third film was short and to the point but had little depth. Jurassic World essentially rebooted the franchise for a new generation, but somehow the dinos looked faker than 20 years before. 2018's Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom went completely off the rails. The latest installment relegates dinosaurs to creatures in a haunted house movie. Even so, each movie in the series has at least one incredible dinosaur encounter. But there's one particular thing that really gets us even more excited about these dinosaurs, and it's their roars. Dinosaurs communicate through roars. They were not silent creatures. They used vocalizations much like today's modern animals do. Watch out for these roars, though. They're probably a final warning. So, welcome back to Factolic, and today we bring you our picks for the top 10 roars in the entire Jurassic Park series. And let's get it started. Number 10 Velociraptors. That's how it is, huh? Velociraptors are often seen hunting in packs, which it may have done in real life. They are portrayed as being highly intelligent and capable of setting traps and communicating with other pack members. The barks and snarls of velociraptors are composed of the diverse vocalizations of African cranes, hissing geese, dogs, dolphins, horses, and mating tortoises. These higher sounds, which give the creature its personality, are often paired with deeper, lower sounds like those of a walrus or tiger to give the overall sound size and weight. Number 9. Corythosaurus. Corythosaurus is a hadrosaur dinosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous period. Its name means helmet lizard. Corythosaurus was planned for the original Jurassic Park on Isla Nublar, with 97% of its genome having been mapped prior to the 1993 incident. Following the San Diego incident in 1997 and the subsequent passage of the Gene Guard Act, InGen, now owned by Masrani Global, conducted illegal experiments on Isla Sorna, resulting in the recreation of Corythosaurus. As far as its roar goes, it has a distinct high-pitched roar which gives it the ninth spot. Number 8. Baryonyx Baryonyx is a genus of spinosaurid dinosaur that originated from early Cretaceous Europe. Named for its very large claw on the first finger, Baryonyx was one of the original dinosaurs bred by InGen on Isla Sorna and would later be exhibited as an attraction in Jurassic World on Isla Nublar. The Baryonyx was believed to live in shallows and near wetlands. It possibly fed on fish, which, given its surroundings, would follow and, more importantly, the Spinosaurid had a spine-chilling roar as well. Number 7. Cynoceratops <laughs> Taking the seventh spot in our list of roars is the Cynoceratops. The Cynoceratops is first seen licking a paralyzed Owen Grady before being scared off by some approaching lava. Cynoceratops is actually a genus of Ceratopsian that lived in China during the late Cretaceous, living about 72 to 66 million years ago. While multiple Cynoceratops were seen during the stampede, the only major appearance of it is when a Carnotaurus grabs one that had lagged behind the stampede. After a brief fight, the Cynoceratops is able to break away and flee with the other dinosaurs. Number 6. Pterodon Pterodon is a large flying reptile. When it spread its wings, it could reach from the front to the back of a school bus. It did not have feathers but rather had a basal type of integument along the same lineage from which feathers evolved, called pycnofibers. Pterodons were successfully created by InGen on their lab in Isla Sorna where they were fed and parented in captivity, being raised in the Isla Sorna aviary. Ospreys were added to give the pterodon sound a bit more of an edge. 
The screeching roar of the pterodons was something special indeed and deservingly takes the sixth spot in our list. Number 5. Brachiosaurus Brachiosaurus is a member of the sauropod family and one of the most well-known of all dinosaurs. The Brachiosaurus singing is one of my favorite sounds in the movie because it's beautiful. But like all good design, it's made from a non-beautiful voice, which is donkeys, said Rydstrom. You think of donkeys and they kind of yodel, you know? There's this pitch shift in donkey vocals, and if you slow them way down, you get almost a hooting, song-like quality. That's the Brachiosaur when it's in its splendor mode. And what about later in the movie when it's in sneezing mode? That's a whale blowhole and a fire hydrant. Number 4. Carnotaurus Carnotaurus, meat-eating bull, is one of the most bizarre yet dangerous meat-eating dinosaurs ever found. Its skull was short with spiked armor on top and a pair of knobby horns over its small eyes. The neck and shoulder blades were well developed, but the arms were incredibly short, with forearms so shrunken they were practically just wrists. Not even Tyrannosaurus rex had such small arms. When it comes to the roar of Carnotaurus, it's like something straight out of a nightmare, and rightly takes the fourth spot in our list. Number 3. Indominus Rex So the first dinosaur in the top three taking the third spot for its roar is the Indominus Rex, a genetically mutated monster that had to sound bigger and badder than the T-Rex. For Nelson, the creature's corrupt, ungodly origins were a clue to its necessary vocal personality. The film's director, Colin Trevorrow, encouraged him to make it sound as annoying and unpleasant as possible. It needs to sound broken, Nelson said. If you think of the T-Rex as this purebred, naturally occurring animal, so to speak, the Indominus is this mutant hybrid. The goal was to create a gnarly, scary, varied vocalization palette. Indominus Rex was the latest attraction in Jurassic Park. The hybrid was created by combining the genetic traits of multiple species. Indominus Roar is estimated to reach 140 to 160 decibels, the same as a 747 taking off. It can reach speeds of 30 miles per hour while confined to its enclosure. Number 2. Spinosaurus Spinosaurus, or spined lizard, was a theropod dinosaur that existed in what is now North Africa during the Cretaceous period. Spinosaurus is the largest of all known carnivorous dinosaurs even larger than Carcharodontosaurus, Gigantosaurus, and Tyrannosaurus rex. As for its roar, the roars of the Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3 were created by mixing the low guttural sounds of a lion and an alligator, a bear cub crying, and a lengthened cry of a large bird that gave the roars a raspy quality. Its roar was a notch higher than the previous roars in our list if you compare the spine chilling factor and takes the second spot in our list. And now we disclose the best roars from Jurassic Park here in a few honorable mentions. Triceratops. Indoraptor. Mosasaurus. Number one, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Rexy. The roar that rules it all. Well, it's clearly a no-brainer to choose which dinosaur is the best roar in the Jurassic Park series. Rexy clearly has the best roar in the entire series of the Jurassic Park films, and this iconic roar actually represents the whole series. The fearsome Tyrannosaurus Rex is one of the biggest animals in Jurassic Park, 
but some of its key noises came from Rydstrom's tiny Jack Russell Terrier, Buster. As for that bone-shivering, theater-shaking T-Rex roar, the key elements of the T-Rex roar is not a full-grown elephant but a baby elephant, said Rydstrom. So once again, a small animal making a small sound slowed down a little bit has more interest to us than what a big animal might do. Well, that was all for today. Make sure you subscribe to Factolic for more videos like these. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.